Welcome. In this video, we're going to be learning about how the heart rate is controlled. Now, first of all, we have three types of muscle in our body. Skeletal muscle, smooth muscle, and cardiac muscle. Skeletal muscle is attached to our bones, hence the name skeletal muscle. We have full conscious control over it. Any muscle that you can move right now or that you can work out in the gym is a skeletal muscle. So bicep, tricep, etc. Next, we have the smooth muscle. Smooth muscle is found in some organs such as blood vessels or in your digestive tract, starting from the esophagus, going to the stomach and all the way to the small and large intestine. We do not have any conscious control over these muscles. Try it yourself. See if you can make your stomach contract. How about making your blood vessels flex? Nope. And this is why we don't have a machine in the gym to train our blood vessels or our small intestine. We don't have any conscious control over them. Okay, and finally, the cardiac muscle, which is only found in the heart. And again, just like smooth muscle, we do not have conscious control over the cardiac muscle either. Now, all three muscles, all three types of muscles are controlled by our nervous system. However, they're controlled slightly differently. So let's have a look at the differences. So remember, one of the jobs of our nervous system is to coordinate our muscles. Now the nervous system has many layers. The first division or the first two branches are the CNS, which stands for central nervous system and PNS, peripheral nervous system. The CNS is made of your brain and spinal cord. And the PNS is made of sensory and motor neurons that are connected to the brain and spinal cord. Moving further, the motor neurons can be divided into autonomic, meaning motor neurons that attach to cardiac and smooth muscles, which are subconsciously controlled, or somatic, which are connected to skeletal muscles. And of course, we have conscious control over skeletal muscles. So here we have our three muscles. The skeletal muscles is controlled by somatic nervous system, and the cardiac and smooth muscles are controlled by the autonomic nervous system. So remember, if it's not somatic, it must be automatic. So we know that skeletal muscles can contract and relax. And this is all done within the somatic nervous system. However, for the cardiac and smooth muscles, for their contraction slash relaxation, we have to have two different types of neurons. Sympathetic and parasympathetic. So, the sympathetic nervous system prepares our cardiac muscles and smooth muscles for fight or flight. And the parasympathetic prepares them for rest and digest. Now, just like contraction and relaxation of skeletal muscle, these two also work as antagonistic pairs. That means if one of them is in control, the other one will not interfere, and vice versa. We'll do an example of how these two can control the heart rate. Notice I said heart rate. That means that the heart itself is not controlled by the nervous system. The heart itself is myogenic. That means the command to beat comes from within the heart. However, the rate, i.e. the speed of the heart, is controlled by the nervous system, meaning it can be sped up or slowed down using parasympathetic and sympathetic neurons. So the heart beats by itself because it's myogenic. However, the nervous system, all it does is it speeds it up and slows it down. Okay, let's look at how the heart rate is controlled. So here we have a basic diagram of the heart. Now, in the wall of the right atrium, we have a bunch of cells that make up something called the SAN, also known as the sinoatrial node or the pacemaker. Here we have the aorta and carotid artery. They contain two very important types of receptors, baroreceptors, which measure blood pressure, and chemoreceptors that measure blood pH. Here we have a picture of the brain. This area is known as the medulla oblongata. For now, we'll just call it the medulla. The medulla is responsible for subconscious control of different parts of the body, for example, the heart, but also breathing. Now, in the medulla, we have two cardiac control centers. The reason there are two is so that one can speed up the heart and the other can slow down the heart. So they work like antagonistic muscle pairs. 
from one control center, we have a sympathetic neuron going to the sinoatrial node. This sends impulses which cause the heart to speed up. The other one is a parasympathetic neuron, and again, that also sends impulses to the sinoatrial node, but this time, it tells the heart to slow down. So here we can see that the sinoatrial node beats by itself. However, the sympathetic and parasympathetic neurons only influence it to speed up or slow down. So let's see this in action. When blood travels through the heart, passing the aorta and carotid artery, the baroreceptors and chemoreceptors measure the blood's pH and pressure. Then, via sensory neurons, they send this information to the cardiac control centers. Depending on the blood's pH and pressure, one of the cardiac control centers will be activated. If the heart needs to beat faster, the sympathetic neuron sends more frequent impulses. However, if the heart needs to slow down, then the parasympathetic neuron will send more impulses to the SAN. Let's have a look at an example. If the amount of carbon dioxide in the blood increases, this makes the blood more acidic, and as a result, reduces the pH. Let's see what happens to the heart rate in this scenario. So if we have low pH because of high carbon dioxide levels, that means the heart rate needs to increase to push carbon dioxide to the lungs. And this should increase the pH back to normal. So how does this happen? Well, number one, the chemoreceptors detect the low pH in the blood. They send this message to the medulla. From the medulla, more impulses will be sent via the sympathetic neuron to the SAN. And as a result, the heart rate will increase. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.